Om Shanti. This is the Avyakta Murli of 2nd of May, 1974. And the title is Become Complete with All Virtues, the Same as the Father. Do you consider yourselves to be the master oceans of knowledge? Just as the ocean of knowledge is complete with all powers, in the same way, do you experience yourselves to be complete with all attainments? Is the praise nothing is lacking in the treasure store of the deities, sung for the Brahmins or for the deities? You experience all these sanskars in your Brahman life because you are now filling yourselves with all these sanskars. So do you experience the sanskars of this praise in yourselves at this time? It is at this time that you are the children of Bab Dada, the highest on high. However, while in the deity life, you will not be called Master Almighty Authority. Since you are the children of the ocean, will you be complete like the ocean now or in the future? The Father makes the children complete in everything at this time. And this is why the praise of the final stage is complete with all virtues. 16 celestial degrees complete, completely viceless and completely nonviolent. In the praise, the word complete is also attached to every virtue. Only in Brahman life do you receive from the Father the inheritance of being complete. Have you claimed a right to your inheritance or are you still going to claim it? You should have the right to the inheritance from the moment that you belong to the Father. What is the inheritance? Do you experience attainment and the unlimited, limitless treasure in your inheritance? Since you have a right to the inheritance, what is the sign of one who has all rights? One who has all rights would constantly be like the Father, a benefactor, merciful, a great donor, a donor of virtues, one who grants a vision of the Father through his every thought, word, and practical action like the Father. For such souls, who have all the rights, the praise is that nothing is lacking in their action. The vision of those who are complete in everything is not drawn towards anything. They constantly stay in spiritual intoxication. They will be beyond having any wasteful thoughts. Their intellect and vision will not be drawn in other directions and they will remain free from all types of worry. They will constantly be playing with the treasure received from the Father. They don't even have the time to have any other thoughts because they constantly remain busy in imbibing and distributing to others the treasures they have received from the Father. The greatest business, the greatest donation, and the greatest charity is this. What else would you do if you let go of such an elevated task and such elevated donation and charity? Do you have time for anything else? Do you still have time to have thoughts of performing insignificant tasks or have you already finished all tasks? Since you have not finished everything, how can you have time for anything else? Can those who remain busy in such a great task have any aim and object in playing with dolls? Is there any result in that? If someone very important, someone who normally earns multi-millions at every step, plays with dolls, would you call him someone who is greatly sensible? Wasteful thoughts are the play of dolls. Do you still have such sense scars of childhood? 
Can those who do not have control over their essential, close, and life powers, their thoughts, mind, and intellect, can those who do not have all the rights and who are not victorious become the victorious jewels who have the right to world sovereignty? Can a kingdom in which the main one is not one who has all rights remain constant, unshakable, and free from obstacles. If the mind and intellect, the closest powers of the soul, the main ones who rule the kingdom, the workers, are not under your control, what would you call such workers? The greatest victorious ones are the weakest of all. So check yourself and see whether your main workers are under your control. If not, then how would you become the one who have right to world sovereignty or the world emperors? If your own little workers deceive you, would you be called Mahavirs? You issue a challenge that you are establishing a kingdom that is ruled with law and order. If the workers that is, the sense organs of those who issue the challenge are not under their own law and order, but that they themselves are the under the influence of the workers, then can they establish law and order in the world? To what extent are all of your sense organs under your control? Check this and develop the sense scars of being victorious from now on. Only those who glorify Bab Dada's name can become complete, the same as the Father. Acha, to those who understand with a signal and make their workers work with a signal, to those who direct all soul towards the Father, to those who experience all rights, to those who are constantly complete, and constantly victorious to such sensible children, Bab Dada's love and remembrances. Good night and Namaste. Blessing. May you be a master lord of divinity who makes a soul who is as hard as iron into a touchstone. All of you are the master lords of divinity, the children of the Lord of Divinity. So no matter how hard as iron a soul may be, in your company, the iron should turn into a touchstone. Do not ever think this one is like iron. The task of a touchstone is to make the iron into touchstone. Constantly keep this aim and qualifications in your awareness and then create a thought or perform action, for only then will you experience the rays of light of you. The soul to be giving power in making other souls golden. Slogan, perform every task with courage and you will receive regard from everyone. Questions and answers from Avyak Bhaktadas Elevated versions. Question. By stabilizing in which stage of self-respect do you become great and worthy of praise? Answer. We are the light of the whole world. We are the light of Bab Dada's eyes. It is said that if there is no light, there is no world. In the same way, if we lights do not exist, then this world is in darkness. Bab Dada sees children in this elevated vision. Stabilize yourself in this elevated stage of self-respect and you will become worthy of praise. Question. Each Brahmin child has received two divine gifts from Bab Dada. What are they? Answer. A divine intellect and divine sight, that is, spiritual light. 
If you constantly keep both these gifts with you, you become the embodiment of success. Because the divine intellect makes the soul into embodiments of divine knowledge, divine remembrance, and divine dharma. Question. If while moving along, you experience something to be difficult or laborious, what is the reason for this? Answer. It is because the divine intellect is definitely influenced by some form of maya. It is only when the divine satopradhan intellect has a raja or tamo influence that easy things are experienced to be difficult. Question. Which cleverness does maya know so that even the clever children become innocent in front of her? Answer. Maya knows how to make your godly gift of the divine intellect belong to her. She is so clever that she makes you belong to her. Therefore, you may become the children of Baba, the Lord of the innocent, but do not be innocent about Maya. Question. What would be the sign of those children who constantly have the gift of of the divine intellect. Answer. Those children who have this gift use it as a lift. As soon as they switch on elevated thoughts, they are able to stabilize themselves in whichever stage they want. The gift of the divine intellect constantly keeps you free from the deceit of any type of sorrow. Those who have divine intellect can never be deceived. They can never experience any type of sorrow. They are constantly safe and free from any calamities. However, if there is the shadow of Maya and the divine intellect, this gift does not work like a lift. When the lift is spoiled, you have to climb the stairs of effort. Question. What instrument is needed in order to reach the peak with the vehicle of the divine intellect to travel around the three worlds? Answer. Bhav Dada needs instruments with the refined, elevated directions because Srimad are the directions that make you fly. However, there cannot be the rubbish of the dictates of the mind or of others mixed in it. It is only that, that you can stabilize yourself in an elevated stage and spread the waves of the cooperation of the light and might of good wishes and pure feelings. Question. What checking should you have at Amrit Vela so that the whole day goes well? Answer, at Amrit Vela, check that the vehicle of divine intellect is absolutely all right. Are you able to travel to the three worlds with this vehicle? Are you able to stabilize yourself in the stage of being world benefactor and give light and might to the whole world? If, due to any reason, you are not able to do this, then at Amrit Vela, find a solution to this problem and your whole day will be powerful. Question. Each child has attained the gift of divine sight from the Father. But why is the power of this sight number-wise? Answer. Because each child uses that sight practically according to his own discipline, according to his own precautions, and according to his own attention. Therefore, there is a percentage in the power of divine sight. Question. In the same way as which instrument of science does the divine eye clearly see things that are far away as though they are close? Answer. Just as the binoculars, the instrument of science, 
is able to make you see distant things closely and clearly. In the same way, the divine eyes also works like a pair of binoculars. In a second, Param Dham, the faraway land, seems so close and is clearly visible. With this divine eye, you are able to see all the three worlds and travel through all three aspects of time. Question, what other name can you give to the divine eye? Answer, this divine eye is the eye of experience. Because it is called the eye of experience, through this eye, you can see everything of the last 5,000 years as though it was only yesterday. You have the experience that yesterday you were the worship worthy soul and that you will become that tomorrow. Today, you are a Brahmin and tomorrow you will be a deity. Question. What aspect will be absolutely clear in front of the children who have powerful sight? Answer. They would have their double crowned form clearly in front of them. They would be able to see the costume of the deity body as clearly as though it is ready and they simply have to put it on. Just as Brahma Baba clearly had his future form of Sri Krishna in front of him, in the same way, your form would be in front of you as clearly and the feeling would be that now you are an angel and soon you will become a deity from an angel. Om Shanti.